Well, a city police sergeant shot in northeast Baltimore. This is Chopper 13 live over the scene where it happened along the 5500 block of Summerfield Avenue. Hello, everyone. I'm Nicole Baker. And I'm Denise Koch. What we know so far is that that officer, a police sergeant, was taken to shock trauma. We do not yet know the extent of his injuries. We do have team coverage for you of this breaking news. We're going to start with Kelsey Kushner. She's live on the scene. Kelsey, can you tell us what you've seen and what you've been hearing for the last half hour or so? Well, Nicole and Denise, you can see the scene is still pretty active out here. Now, the information that we've got so far is that we know that there is an officer who is at shock trauma. He was wounded in an incident here on Summerfield Avenue. I did speak with witnesses. They say that they're, they got a phone call from their babysitter to come pick up their kids. Their babysitter lives on this street here. They said that there was an officer who was robbed on the street here um, and was shot. There were two suspects that approached the cars, what they are telling me. Um, again, still working to get that information confirmed from police here. You can see the scene still is active out here. We've got forensics out here. There was an ambulance that had just taken off. Again, that officer is now at shock trauma. No word yet on his condition. No update on any suspects in custody. We are still working to get that information confirmed. and We will bring you the latest updates when we get them. Back to you guys. All right, Kelsey, before you go, let's go over very carefully for, um, sure. for our viewers who may just be joining us. The witness that you spoke with, um, really alarming information that witness told you. You said that this witness has children who are in daycare on that street. They must have been distraught, the witness you talked to. That's correct, Denise. And even the parents sitting here waiting to pick up their kids because their kids are still with the babysitter stuck down on this street. They can't get to them because of the crime scene tape. And I'm, you know, I was talking to them, and you just can't help but feel awful because they really just want to go pick their kids up right now, especially in this time when they said that those kids, you know, they, they possibly could have witnessed, you know, this this shooting happening right out on the street here. Um, have so they yeah, been in that, communication? That they have said, they, sorry, have they been in no, communication they with have, their uh, children? They, I, I don't know specifically if they have talked to their kids, but I do know that they are in contact with their babysitter who is on the street here. But that babysitter and those children may have witnessed this officer being shot. Correct. Very alarming. And that officer, again, according to these witnesses, was in plain clothes, and they believe this was the result of a robbery. Yes. All right. All very uh, important information you've gathered for us. Thank you very much, Kelsey. Thank you. Well, let's get to Rachel Menatov. She is live at Shock Trauma, where we know the officer has been taken. Rachel, what can you tell us that you've seen there in the past couple minutes? Nicole, it's a busy scene here outside of shock trauma. You can see there are several first responders out here, and we're also joined by several other media outlets. There is supposed to be a press briefing in the next couple of minutes. We've been in touch with shock trauma officials working for shock trauma, and they tell us that someone will be out here very soon to discuss the condition of the police sergeant, how he's doing, and what kinds of injuries he sustained. We do know that City Council President Brandon Scott did tweet just a few minutes ago saying that he's on his way over here to lend his support to the injured officer and we are waiting on officials to come out and talk to us as part of that press briefing to learn more about how the injured officer is doing. Nicole, 